You talk about uh, MFM Basketball Club of Lagos. They we wanted them to get at least win their second game, you know, second group game, but they couldn't. Out of three games, they won just one, which was their opening game. They lost the other two. Uh, the uh, third one, the last group game to an Egyptian side. But before we talk more about them, let's take a look at other results uh, from the night, the mm -hmm. games that were played on a Tuesday last group game, starting with the game between NJ BBC 53-103 uh, against uh, Inter Club. And this uh, particular uh, matchup, yeah, there you have it. Inter Club, you expect them to have this kind of victory as much as a 50 point. <laughs> over the opponent. I mean, Looks when like a they practice beat, game. Precisely. <laughs> when they beat MFM, it was a 40 season against uh, uh, the team from Benin Republic. It's again, 50 points again. You Man, can blame them five times. Uh, like shooting champions. practice. That's, that's the way it is. And Probably it's their last group the, game. The opposition was virtually non, non existent. I mean, they, they lost all their games. So, I mean, they lost their first two games. And that's the last one they're thinking they'll be able to win this one. But they also lost this one. So, at the end of the day, they didn't get anything at all from the group games. Another one is a fab from uh, Cameroon against CNSS. It was 52. 56, another close game. Of course, defending champion Ferroviario from Maputo. That's a Mozambique. They're defending champions. They were able to beat Al Hadley by 84 73. Not even the home crowd, the resounding noise and all that you hear everywhere, mm -hmm. could deter the defending champions from uh, taking one pound away from Al Hadley. And also, MFM Queens and Sporting Alexandra, they are the host club in Egypt in Cairo right there. It was 42 and 63. And that's really our focus this morning. That game, we're thinking, okay, just maybe they might just get something. But the fact that it was a low scoring game. The, the, the essence of, especially when you have eight yeah. teams, 16 team uh, basketball, your position may not be good, you may qualify. Yeah. But what it shows is that you're going to meet stronger teams. And uh, by the time you see the quarterfinal fixtures, you will understand our fears. We were hoping that uh, the MFM, even though we knew it was a tall order yeah. against, against uh, Sporting Club, uh, we knew it was a tall order. I was, uh, I mean, was asking them to climb a mountain um, with, their, with their bare hands and no support. But, I mean, at the end of the day, they gave their best. It wasn't yeah. enough. And that's what happens to you if you don't win. Let's just see the quarterfinal uh, appearance. Uh, in, in that one, uh, we see what happens, and of course, um, that's it right there uh, on your screen. Sporting Alexandra, uh, the team um, that defeated our own uh, MFM, will be up against CNS, and uh, you also have uh, the, the team that you said uh, did well. Uh, <laughs> Will Inter be up club, against yeah. Inter mm -hmm. club, yeah. uh, who seems to be uh, doing shooting practice on everybody. Uh, NAGBBC will be up against uh, Veroviaro. Uh, that's the defending champions, the mm. team from Maputo and Sicilia. Uh, this one yeah. is where our hearts and minds is. Tall, tall Abs order. Absolutely. It's going to be a tall order for MFM. And if you take a look at what happened with both sides, I mean, both were, were losers in their own game. It was a close game for Al Hale in their own but then MFM Queens inexperience came to play in this one. They promised to actually, you know, do something different to get a spot in the semi-finals. So if they're able to actually win this one, it's going to be a great one for them. But then there are some players they need to watch out for. If you can see pictures, you know, from that game between MFM yeah. and the game they played. And the pictures the actually sporting. tell the story. Yes, e exactly. If you can see those pictures coming from that game. I mean, Al Hadley, for instance, they have a points guard, Kessler Michelle, that everyone will be watching out for. I mean, she had had uh, 30 points uh, so far. I mean, why another uh, she had 30 points in their game Shaquilla non picked up 18 rebounds so far and made 15 points for a double double I mean when you have players like that so MFM players also need to be aware but then the players you need to watch out for uh, if Naya Okoro and Mistura Subri are the players you know they combined for the half of the points that MFM scored in that game so one had 10 the other one had 11 and with that MFM were able to just how many points 42 points when you have two players scoring more than 20 points so they need to actually you know watch out on that and see how they can improve on that particular aspect if they can improve on that hopefully they will be able to get into the semi-final so they're still in the business that's what it's important right now just win your next game and of course the semi-final ticket mm -hmm. will that just comes. be there if they don't they have to start playing classification game to see how they will end but so far you know it's been an impressive journey for the, the girls from Lagos, what they put up, and just knowing that they have to play against the very 
big and experienced side who've been in the competition for a long time. For them, they're just making their debut. And of course, winning one game and losing the other two. The second one, the loss practices was huge. But the third one, a little bit closer, you know, the gap is closing. No, no, no shame. But against another no Egyptian shame really side, for... hopefully they should be able to get a result. Yeah, I agree with everything you've said. No shame for MFM. Um, give a good account of themselves. You, you need to just look back and say, this, this club has been in existence for, for just how many years, and they're mixing it with yeah. the big guns. Uh, a very good experience. Maybe they'll come, if they do well on the domestic scene, they'll come back uh, for this kind of competition, uh, better prepared, and they'll be able. It's always good when, you know, things like this are a little more test. You're yeah. able to, to see your picture and look at yourself and, and know where you are and know areas that you need to improve. But, uh, you know, this is sports. Surprises yeah. can mm -hmm. happen. Who knows?